Oh okay, yeah, stupid over here fucked up. Yup, fucked up large. Uh, I didn't set my alarm. Right now I'm packing my shit up. It's 10.32. We gotta go. 10.30. 9.32. We gotta go. Fuck. I'm gonna be a little bit late. Because, uh, it takes me about a good 20 minutes to get there and then about 10 minutes to log in and shit, but whatever. Not too worried. It's not like I'm always late. It's like I've been late yet. So, let's pitter-patter and have at her. Head into work. Tonight when we get home, we're gonna move the game and computer over. So we got some work to do when we get home. As in, cutting and crimping an ethernet cable and routing it. So, let's pitter-patter and have at her. Ah, frig. Hate when I do this, but it happens. Oh well. Just won't have time to stop for coffee, that's all. We'll have to live off of the electrolytes found in H2O. But, um... Yeah, last night after we were done Grand Theft Auto Inc, I jumped on Facebook real quick. I noticed a buddy of mine sent me a, well, he didn't send me a, he posted on, on the Facebook timeline about this guy up on Airport Hill here in town. He went in to see him at his shop uh, to find out why his brakes weren't working right. Like he'd apply the brake and she'd pull to the left. And the reason being is because the one caliper just wasn't working. So he told him, he's like, you need a new caliper. Here's the cost. I'm going to give you the part that's at cost and charge you just labor. Well, the guy was like, well, fuck that. I'll just do the work myself. I can go on eBay and watch a video. Or eBay, fuck YouTube and watch a video. Well, the guy proceeded to do that. He went on YouTube. He watched said video. He installed said caliper. And as he was coming down the hill, either A, he missed a part in the video, or B, the video maker missed a part in the video. I don't know. All I know is when he was coming down Airport Hill, his brakes didn't work. And he ended up injuring somebody pretty bad. A while ago, I talked about how they want to pass a law in Canada. Yeah, he's totally driving his lawn tractor on the road. That's awesome. But uh, they want to pass a law in Canada stating that you're not allowed to work on your own, your own road-worthy vehicle unless you are a certified mechanic. And in that video, I basically talked about how much bullshit it is because of how we all know uncertified mechanics, like mechanics who didn't go to school, but who know this shit better than mechanics who've gone to school. However, I do believe that these YouTube mechanics, like myself, I'm not fucking lying, you know, I watched a lot of videos on how to change out different things on the car, but I never attempted it myself because one fear to the risk factor, right? Always comes down to the risk factor. And what I mean by the risk factor is I'm fucking with a braking component. That's, the braking component's a safety feature of the car. So if I have to, like if a kid darts across the road right now and I fucking mash the brakes and they don't respond, and I'm the last one to service the brakes, then I'm a bigger goof than normal, right? So if I have a certified mechanic work on it, let's say I just brought it into the shop, had the brakes done, I leave the shop and I fucking mash the brakes and nothing's there, then they fucked up, they're liable. Mind you, shops will say, well, once the car leaves the shop, we're no longer liable. Bullshit, I brought it in for a brake job, you guys are supposed to fix the brakes, brakes are still fucking fucked, so no, no, that's not the case. Is that my parents over there? Looks like dad's plate. No, no, that's not dad. Dad don't got a spoiler on the back of his. But um, anyway. So I do believe, like, doing, like, what I did, the oil change, whoop de doo right? If, if that fucks up, what happens? The engine seizes up and I come to a screeching halt. Yeah, that could cause problems on the streets, obviously. Come to a screeching halt with no brake lights on. Everybody behind you doesn't realize that you're coming to a screech, screeching halt. And they all fucking plow into you and then you got a 25 car pile up. That's a definite issue. But messing with components that make the car stop should be done by a professional. Certain things should be done by a professional, by somebody with a liability insurance. After I read that that whole article that he posted about, uh, oh, article, he wrote the article, by the way, but after I read the whole fucking three paragraphs that he posted of the, uh, uh, of, uh, the fact, and the fact that he has to pay 150 bucks a year to renew his ticket to be a certified mechanic, you know, these guys go through special training for this shit. Maybe unless you know what the fuck you're doing. Like, I mean, really know what the fuck you're doing. Not watching a YouTube video and replicating. I mean, you can do brakes 
without even fucking, like, you, you can do breaks drunk like I can video edit drunk, you know what I mean? Unless you can do that, then I'd recommend leaving it to the pros, in my own opinion. Now, I know this is going to cause a lot of controversy on the video. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, fuck, you're so stupid, blah, 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 and all they want to do is take all your money. But there is a safety aspect to the thing, too, because you are driving a fucking rolling bullet. You know, humans are really squishy. Humans are really squishy, and these things are really metally and heavy. You know, 4,000 pounds of rolling steel going down the road versus a 150, 200 pound human. The human's gonna be really ouch times when you collide with them. So, yeah, it is highly recommended that you can apply the brakes and have them work every bloody time. But to each their own, right? If you're willing to work on your brakes and but just by watching a YouTube video and not having any prior knowledge to it. Which is the reason why I never touch the brakes. I got that squeaky caliper. A lot of you are like, oh, fuck, just take off the pins and oil them. It's easy, man. It's easy. Yeah, but if I don't put them back on right, and then I hit the brakes and there's nothing, then I'm fucked. Right? And then if I hit somebody if that happens and I hurt them badly or worse, kill them, the amount of guilt on me would be fucking horrendous. Even worse than the fact that I hit them, the fact that I hit them because it was my fault because I fucked around with a, with a uh, breaking suspension part and failed to do it right and fucked everything up. I would lose my shit. Like, I would be so devastated. Know that not only did I hit a person, but it was because of my fault that that person is no longer on the planet anymore. That would just, yeah. I, I don't know if I could live with myself knowing that. So that's why I say it. I saw that article, thought I'd share that with you on my drive to work today. Let me know in the comments below. I know I'm going to get blasted, I know. But try and see it from both sides of the fence. Try and see it from both sides of the fence, people. It's not always a one-sided story. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm almost at work. Let's go bang out this shift. See you guys at 6. Peace. Alrighty, people, we are done our shifts for today. Shifts, uh, why did I pluralize that? Fuck, I don't know. Anyway, I'm thinking for supper tonight. I don't feel like cooking. I got a lot of work to do tonight with moving over the computers and setting up cable management and making a fucking mess of things and other things and stuff. So, um, I'm thinking for supper tonight. I'm just gonna go pick up some pizzas over at Caesars and, uh, eat some pizza and move the gaming rig over to the other desk and hook it up to those monitors and give those monitors a one for we do have a 14 day return period if the monitors are shot and I did notice that Staples has a deal on smaller versions of those monitors so if they are shot that's what we'll do we'll get those and right now they're asking $89 for the 20 inch I have the 22 so yeah not saying I want to return them and get the 20 inch, I'm just saying there's still a deal available if they're, if they're fucked, you know, I can still return them and get something else if they don't carry that model anymore, which I don't understand why they wouldn't, but I have a feeling they're going to be fine because I never had a problem with an Acer monitor except for the quality, well, not really the quality either, they've been pretty good. I was talking with Hagface and he was saying uh, he's going, well, he is using 144 hertz monitors and mine are 60 hertz. And he said, once you go 144, you can't go back. He's like, it's just, it's night and day the way the uh, the screen refreshes and the lack of tearing and so on and so forth. So I didn't want to treat myself to that because then I would, and then I'd look at all these 60 hertz monitors and be like, Gah! you know? So I figured, fuck it, we'll just stick with 60 hertz. It's what we know. Right now I don't know any better and not knowing any better, sometimes ignorance is bliss, you know? Maybe, probably not, who cares? So we'll go ahead and we'll set all that shit up. And then tomorrow the new editing rig should be here. According to UPS, it should be here tomorrow anytime during the day. So as long as they actually, you know, come into my house or come up to the house and fucking deliver it and not have me drive halfway across Hell's Acre to pick it up, all will be good. So yeah, we'll uh, pick that up or we'll get that tomorrow. Hopefully if not Tuesday, if I have to pick it up. 
fuck, I better not. They better just walk it up to the door and have me sign for it. And not fuck around. So I'm telling you, man, if they don't deliver it, I'm contacting USPS or UPS and I'm putting a fuck complaining, boys. It even said on the site, make sure you're home so we can deliver your parcel. It's supposed to be to the home delivery, not to the courier. And it's. But he doesn't want to lift it off his truck like the purulator dick did because, oh, it's 50 pounds. And all he has to do is bang on the door and I'll lift it off his fucking truck and drag it in there. I remember at uh, Ontario, we weren't allowed to lift anything over 50 pounds. It was like, if it's over 50 pounds, you had to get help because the last thing they wanted to happen was a nerdy technician to fucking blow his back out lifting up a box of modems. It's like, fuck, 50 pounds. If you can't lift a 50 pound sack of potatoes, then, uh, you might as well be peeling the fucking things, you know what I mean? Okay, that was a bit of a sexist joke, I apologize. <sighs> but seriously, like, it's 50 pounds. For some people, that's a quarter of their weight. For me, it's a, it's a sixth. So, let's see who can do math. So, we're gonna go pick up pizzas, go home, we'll have a bite to eat, and then we'll, uh... Fuck, where are my crimpers? I think they're in the garage. I think the heads for the cables are in the garage. I'm gonna need two of those, the, the crimpers, cables upstairs underneath the computer, the uh, gaming desk. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. So I wanna go around the outside of the room into the hub, or into the switch, sorry. I'm gonna disconnect the PS4 because I don't use that fucking pile anymore. Because I have what? One, two, three, four, five devices plugged in now. I got the PS3, the PS4, the two PCs, and that laptop all running off the switch. I don't know if it's an 8-port or a 5-port switch. It's gigabit, though, so that's good. I was thinking about getting a wireless dongle for it and running wireless AC, but then I was like, ah, no, no, no. It's cheaper to use cable. Yeah. And hopefully tonight when we are extreme, I can use the green screen with the webcam and chroma key properly. That'd be fucking cool, eh? Chroma key to cam camera. I'll look like all the big Twitch streamers. I'll look like all the, all the big guys on Twitch. With an invisible backdrop and my head bobbing around like an idiot. Look like jelly on YouTube. Fucking jelly on YouTube, eh? That's what I'll look like. Fucking jelly on YouTube. Their crew has a jelly, our crew has a DK, fuck. Anyway, these sluts better fucking be open, yes they are. Okay, cool. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get pizzas. Well, I just went out to the garage, checked the toolbox, checked all over in here. I can't find my crimper or the RJ45 heads. The wire is right over there underneath the desk. Can't find the heads of the crimper. So I'm basically fucked. I can't move my computer tonight because right now it's the only platform I have to edit and upload on. Therefore, that's not gonna work. So what I need to do is find the network cable long enough to go from my switch back to the router. Thought I had a red one to do that, but I can't find it. It's not in use because it's in use on the laptop. Fuck. Well, this is just fan fucking tastic. And if you're about to type in, why don't you use the one you're already using? It's because another computer is going here tomorrow, which will be using that cable. So I just checked because the only store open right now is Walmart. And Walmart sells Cat 5 and Cat 6. I can get a 25 footer, which is way the fuck more than I need. So I need about 8 feet on that wall, maybe four feet here and then four feet out to the computer way more than I need but it'll do the job and it's 15 bucks which is a lot more than I wanted to spend I wanted to just build my own cable and show you guys how to crimp and stuff because I know some of you guys are tech nerds out there but some of you guys are automotive guys who don't know how to do that kind of shit so figured I'd show you how I do it and how I make it easier but it's kind of hard when you don't have the supplies I found the um, the breadboard where basically you can hook up uh, Cat5 to a, um, uh, like just you, you screw it in like a pot switch and the other end is a female receiver for a Cat5 cable so like if you're putting outlets in your walls or whatever you, you're doing uh, I found that which doesn't help me one freaking bit but I can't find the RJ45 plugs. So I could take a rip roaring ride over to Wally World, scoop that up, and that would resolve the problem. <sighs> or 
go tomorrow. Might as well go tonight and get it done because tomorrow I want to just hook up that new computer and get it going, right? So, yeah. The other option is, is to buy another one of those wireless AC adapters like I'm using downstairs. But that's not gigabit connection. That's only 433 megabit. Ew, what to do, what to do, what to do? Well, I know what I gotta do. I gotta get a network cable. So, let's go get one. Alright, just got back from Walmart and boom shakalaka. U uh, USB? No. Ethernet cable. Let's run this slut. A lot of bullshit and a lot of nonsense. It's done. Problem I had was I couldn't find the, uh, the things. The uh, HDMI and DVI cables. So, I made do with what I had. This monitor here is on HDMI. And this one here is on DVI. Currently, my other computer over there is not hooked up to anything, but that'll be changed tomorrow when the new rig shows up. So, uh, we got ARC running. ARC is up. So, ARC is running, and over here, this is what the stream's gonna look like. So you can see I'm down in the corner on the green screen, and a can of beer is showing up. I thought I just took that. What the fuck? Oh, this is weird. Okay. Okay. I quit. It wasn't easy setting up the green screen. It looks so vibrant and cool on this camera here, but on the webcam, it looks so blah and thin. So I think when Logitech has their next time on the 900 series cameras, I might scoop one of them up. But we're about to go live on Twitch on Arc. That's what we're gonna do tonight, and uh, hopefully it should be pretty fun. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Let's hammer down 4040 and get her did. Alrighty guys, we're all done for tonight. That worked out too well. That worked out way too well. Sitting in back here playing video games. Green screen was meh. It was aight, you know. Pretty good night, but we're calling her quits for now. I gotta get to bed. I'm fucking beat. I've been up for too long today. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when we should be getting our new computer. Fuck yeah. So like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and until next time, guys, don't forget to keep on vlogging.